Well, hello guys. How are you guys on this beautiful snowy, snowy day? I tell you what, right now I'm sitting here in my, uh, that big bulky coat I told you guys I, I never wear. And these big bulky bibs I told you guys I never wear. Hats off to you, Warden. I'm glad you got them for me. As you can see, I have a homemade seat with a homemade coaster. So, uh, we're doing pretty good. You know, that little snowblower, man, that little thing is, is mighty. Um, luckily, the pile I'm setting on, my neighbor brought his uh, payloader in and pushed in the big berms from the snow plows that went through the alley. I'd, I'd be, uh, that'd be a no-go. But uh, that little snowblower is mighty. We do have to run down to the lovely bomb guards and see if we can find a set of chains for it, though, because I am manhandling it a little bit more than what I want to. And when Bud um, was cleaning snow off while I was at work, he said it just kept spinning everywhere, so we're going to throw some chains on it and uh, go from there. I wasn't really going to make a video today because, uh, well, moving snow everywhere really isn't that eventful. And right now the kids and the wife are at school, so I really didn't really have a whole lot to record. But I, I just wanted, I was reading the comments from, um, well, it would be yesterday's video, but two days for you guys but uh where i was uh, giving the truck drivers some stress that were in the ditch i wasn't giving them stress um i was reading the comments and out of god i think there's like 150 comments there was there was two comments that stood out to me and you always read everything and you always pick out the negativity um one of them i i think is if i remember right he's a normal subscriber and he was completely right you know i probably shouldn't have been saying stuff about uh someone's misfortunes so i, I don't hold anything against him and uh, he, he was right and then another one he I, have no, I didn't recognize the name at least and he didn't sound like a normal subscriber saying something about karma is going to get me in the butt and everything guys I, I wasn't making fun of him I was making light of probably making light of a bad situation I mean we we as truck drivers we see about everything out there and I'm not saying they were in the wrong. I mean, we never know if there was a car that cut him off or whatnot, but um, one of the trucks that was there, he, he was in the truck. That just happened. I mean, that, that just happened. And, you know, I didn't see it happen. I suppose a car could have cut him off. But the other, the other two trucks in that video, they'd been there overnight. Now, in that circumstance, God, I want to tell you, I want to tell you guys that it's okay to say no. I, I have no clue about the situation that those drivers were in, but uh, the bad roads, um, crappy roads like that, or the big storm that come through there, a lot of drivers don't get a choice. They have to run through that because either it's forced dispatch or their boss says you run it or you're fired. I have a lot of new drivers on my channel. They're telling me they just got their CDL or they're working to get their CDL. I want to tell you guys that it's it's okay to say no. There is literally thousands, thousands of truck driving jobs out here. I mean, you have that CDL in your pocket. That's your money maker. That's your I never have to worry about work card again. That that's all a CDL is. I never have to worry about work card again. Cuz okay, let's let's line up an example here. Let's say that truck that was jackknifed on the other side of the interstate. Well, he wasn't really jackknifed. It looked like he was taking the off, off ramp and his truck slid around on him. But uh, let's just set up an example that his dispatcher said that load has to get down to Kansas City. You don't have a choice. You have to run that. And let's just say that driver was new. And that driver said, boy, I just, I just don't feel comfortable running through this stuff, boss. You know, these storms are 100% predictable now. You can, you can check road reports, you can check uh, cameras, you can check all kinds of things to see what the roads look like. And let's just say that driver's seen all that, and he said, man, that, I'm just not comfortable doing that, boss. And the boss said, well, you don't have a choice. You're fired if you don't. Let him fire you. Move on. Go to the next job. And when that job says, why did you leave your other job? You tell him you got fired. You got fired because you, uh, you said you couldn't drive through some bad roads. And if that job right there says, well, you're not a fit for us, move on to the next one. You will find the next one that says, man, that's rough. You can't have forced dispatch like that. You, you will find the right job. 
so it, it's okay to say no just just flat out tell them no i you know those roads i could i'm gonna wreck your truck and cost you as an owner money i'm going to uh possibly wreck and hurt somebody let alone myself i i just don't feel comfortable driving on those roads boss i, I i'm not gonna do it i'm gonna park at this truck stop let the storm blow by then we're gonna hit it next hit it again the next day and like i said if he says no you're gonna do it or you're fired let him fire you that sounds that sounds ridiculous to say doesn't it let him fire you because there's going to be a job out here that doesn't give you that will give you that choice because there are there's thousands i mean thousands of truck driving jobs out here as for if if they tell you well you don't have two years experience you can't leave us I, i'm sorry guys you're, you're also going to find jobs that will hire you without two thousand without two years my experience even if it's driving a dump truck even if it's driving any other kind of truck those roads that we were that we seen the other day i could have ran up those i could have i used to run up those i used to run up crappy roads all the time constantly but you know since i got the kenworth since i got first class and she's got a nice big bedroom and it's not that small bedroom right there i choose not to uh run in those especially you know i'm not getting older i'm not going to say i'm getting older but you know with warden and the kids at home you know they they prefer me not to run in stuff like that and between mom and dad and the kids and warden i i don't want to uh make them think that I'm invincible and I don't want to tell everybody else I'm invincible but I could run in those roads I just choose not to you know if that loads gonna be late I say you know what then it's gonna be late I mean there's what are they gonna do take your birthday away that's one thing a job's not gonna do they're not gonna take your birthday away so it's okay to say no um, and I was trying to make light of a situation you know they there's a there's a company. Well, here, you know what? I'm talking too much already. Let's go move some more snow, and I'll fill you in a little bit more about a guy that was running over to Lincoln and Lincoln, Nebraska, and they got hit hard, hard, hard. I'll talk about that situation a little bit later on, but let's go move some more snow. That's a whole lot of German. No, you're staying in. Uh -uh, get in there. Yeah, the pups are at daycare. We're not done blowing yet. But I do got to tell you a little bit more stuff about the whole saying no part. Let's keep going.
guys okay? <laughs> Crap. Well, I gotta put you guys inside to dry now. Yes, this camera's supposed to be waterproof, but I don't have the side cover on that makes it waterproof. So you gotta go inside Grandma and Grandpa's house and dry off. I'll finish this up, and then we'll go ahead and talk a little bit more about that uh, whole saying no thing. Yeah, they have a tendency to go out the door and wait because they see I still have my coat on. Yeah, we took, came in the house, we got all the cover hauls off, and we cooled down a little bit. Yeah, it's cold out, but we actually cooled down just a little bit because we had a lot of sweat rolling. Man, that was crazy. Little Bud's home. Um, I don't know if he's going to play in the snow with the dogs or not, or if he's going to go play with his buddies because there's a lot of big snow piles around here. But I want to show you guys his fish. I want to show you guys... I don't know why I'm trying to cram so much into this video. I truly don't. I don't know if I will be able to cram so much into this video. Power of editing, right guys? The power of editing. Real quick though, I do want to talk about... I forgot. No, I didn't forget. Now I remembered. I want to talk about that... Uh, I have some subscribers that went out to... Some subscribers that went out to... Uh, Lincoln, Nebraska across 80 and they put some pictures up on Facebook and man whew, that looked ugly there was a bunch of drifts out there and, a, and it just didn't look pleasant at all now I didn't ask any details on if they were uh, doing it by choice or if they were let's just say judging by a few things I pick up on every once in a while I think it was a by choice thing which is perfectly fine we can we can all run in bad weather if you're used to it you know living where we do we're pretty much used to it but um it was i i think it was there by their choice and they were able to pull it off you know they were able to go through it they didn't go in the ditch everything went pretty smooth the way it sounds other than the drifts and the snow I don't know guys i guess i was earlier before when we were talking i was i was more spun up than what i am now I'm not, I'm not as spun up. I just want you guys to know that when we were uh, talking about those trucks in the ditch the other day, I, I, I most of you, actually 98% of you knew that I was just being me. 1% of you did point out a good fact that uh, I, I, I shouldn't have been that way. And I understand where you're coming from, man, because I, I've seen you comment on here before. And then the other 1%, don't make threats like that. I take karma seriously. And when you said that, I, I don't I don't think you're a normal subscriber though. I, I've never seen your name before on there. And just remember, you get a choice. You really you really, really, really do get a choice. That that lovely CDL in your back pocket, when I told you guys it's a money card, I'm not kidding. It's a money card. There's thousands of jobs out here. Don't let one a certain one push you around. Or make you do something that you don't want to do you you really really don't have to listen to that now if you're slacking and not doing what you need to be doing and stuff like that now that's a different story you need to work each job like it's the best job in the world and if you don't like it you need to move on but that's where we're sitting on that what do you think you guys want to go see some fish maybe go check in on the guinea pigs you want to or you want me just to stop it here Ah, let's go check on him. It'll only take a couple minutes. Plus, well, we gotta see what little Bud's up to, too. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. I know what you guys are asking for. You wanted to see Jackson Opie. Let's go check on the other critters. Alrighty. Let's check up on the fish, see how they're doing. Hey, guys, there you go. And you got bottom feeder swimming around. Sure. Is that a yellow one and a pink one, right? Or a yellow one and an orange one. All right? I can't hear you. It's mm -hmm. another one. Where's the other one? Back 
No, oh, there he is. You're not getting him. I'm not? Mm -mm. Okay. He's right there. Oh, nope, he's out front now. There they are. Was well, there three, four, five fish in here, right? Six. Wait. Five. five. So we had one bite to dust. Mm -hmm. He didn't really bite the dust, but he was smaller, and they decided they wanted him for lunch. Who would have thought those fish would eat the other ones? They ate the fins. They ate the fins, didn't they? Mm -hmm. I wonder where your other bottom feeder's at. It's right by, um, there's one back here, and then there's another one over there. Over there? At the corner. Okay. Oh, there he is. Right down there in the corner. There you go. Bottom feeders are doing good. Keeping the fish, keeping the tank. I turned the heat up a little bit on the tank, and I turned the... The pump down a little bit because we recognize they weren't eating a whole lot and they were staying over here by sorry guys staying over here by the heater so I figured maybe the tank wasn't warm enough so we're gonna keep it around 80 degrees now they seem to be doing pretty good but now a certain somebody thinks he needs more fish so he's been mm -hmm. snow blowing his butt off and he's gonna I got a check in my pocket now from your other lady that pays you. Mm -hmm. And hopefully once he gets enough money built up, he wants to buy another fancy, a really fancy tank and put, what do you want to put in it? Two beta fish and um, five or six neon, I mean neon, um, yeah, tetras. Five or six neon tetras and a couple betas? Mm hmm And you've yeah. done the research on those betas, right? Mm hmm Okay. All right. Have we uh, come up with names yet for these guys? Yeah. All right. What I don't have one for the green one yet, but I got Pinky. It's a pink one. Okay. And Mustard. Pinky and Mustard. I would have went with Al and Frank. <laughs> Al, Frank, and... Oh, no. We could. You could have gone with Larry, Moe, and Curly. Oh, oh. Do you even know who the Three Stooges are? No. <laughs> you don't, do you? Those are before your time? Yeah. All right. Well, that was the fish update. As for uh, the pig update, I'm not going to give you that update yet. Maybe tomorrow night because I went in there to look at the pigs a little bit. No. No. The young lady in this household has some cleaning to do. Doesn't she? Mm -hmm. Yes, she has some cleaning to do. Okay. I wanted to show them your pigs. They're having an extrasensal crisis, and I meant to show, clean the cage yesterday after the game, but then came home, forgot, and then when I went upstairs. There, there's hay all over. I'm sorry, they're messy eaters. I can't control. I put a shoebox underneath thinking, like, it would control the hay. They just, like, dig that sucker out, put it all over the place. Yeah, or take her to dance. Mmm. Okay. Birthday cake. <laughs> what? He's like, mmm. Birthday cake. For anyone who is wondering, yes, that birthday cake is really good. Paige, I'm taking her to dance, right? Yeah. All right. Warden? Warden? <laughs> tell you what all I want to do is talk to Warden a little bit before I end this video and she's she's inappropriate for the camera all right guys well I talked a lot today we went over a lot of topics and I want you guys to remember when I told you it's okay to say no it truly is okay just to say no all right other than that, are you, that gonna are, are you decent now yeah. you, want, you want to say hi to my fine people Hello. Hello. They like it when your family's involved. Is there any chance? Oh, we can't do a live tomorrow night. No, Pete Choi's birthday party. <sighs> Guys, I swear, I swear to you, I'm trying to get time to do a live. Saturday, you have no plans. Yeah, but sa Saturday, everybody's not around. They have things going. We can try it. We're try. Maybe we're try one Saturday afternoon. Even though I, I know most of you are kind of busy. Last time we tried one on a Saturday afternoon, I think we we didn't get a whole lot of that people there. That was on there. a Sunday. 
Yeah. Was it on a Sunday? Yeah, we never have done a Saturday. No, we did a Saturday. We did no. one in the morning. No. Nope, we were planning on it, but we didn't. Really? Yeah. Nope. No Saturday. No Saturday. No Saturday. Alright, well, anywho, you guys keep yourself safe, and as always, I'll see you next time. Oh, come on. All right. I gotta put you on camera again. Why? Because you have mail. I have mail? Yeah. You have mail. Ooh, did you get our mail? No, this is Dad's oh, mail that hey. come in my P.O. box. I left school early. Will you go around and get our mail? Your dad Paige, run across it. and grab your, your, mail. Your dad blowed it over. Get well soon. Let me sit up. Ah, wow, I just wanted to send you a Colon cancer in 2008. Wow, that's good. That's 12 years. That's colon cancer. Paige, oh. <laughs> Paige go this way. Yeah, I'm not. Sure. There you go, guys. I just wanted to deliver that letter to Grandpa or Dad, I guess. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. He says. Thank you. No, you keep that, Dad. Oh, yeah, I keep yours. Thank, thank you. All right. Now this video is complete. That's a nice butt. I like that butt. Did you put that on camera? Mm-hmm. That's her butt! Or edit it out. <laughs>